welcome to day two of our Carbs Spectacular. Uh, the only show in the car and BS while consuming carbs. We got two items to try uh, today. We're doing their new mozzarella sticks and we're gonna be tackling their birthday pie cake. Um, if you missed yesterday's video, go check it out. Link in the description down below, but just go back a day. Uh, we did the Burger King Philly Melt. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I did not mind it. Uh, we're gonna start with the mozzarella sticks. These are incredibly reasonable. Uh, but let's see if they're big enough. Yeah, I mean, they're not too bad. I, I gotta tell you though, it is crazy apparent. We just talked in the last video about how like these fast food places and just food in general, but just corporations in general are nickel and diming everyone into oblivion. Like just for these temporary profits before everything crashes because that's what's gonna happen. If they keep doing this, people are just not gonna have any money and then they're not gonna be able to buy anything anymore. And then that's it, your profits are gone. So it's like, instead of having a, you know, decent profit margin, they want extreme profit margins. And yet that's not sustainable. Like eventually it's gonna collapse. Like it's just a matter of time, it will collapse. Um, but I've even noticed like, they definitely are making everything smaller too. Like all these places are shrinking their food down by quite a bit. I've been doing this for a long time. And granted, you know, I've always noticed things get smaller and smaller over over the years and I always uh, when I was younger I was like oh it might just be because like I'm getting bigger because I'm a big guy right I'm 6'3 270 pounds like I'm a big boy uh, but no I this is like the fastest I've ever seen it happen it used to be gradual and yet this is like they're just going like I ah, cut it in half cut it three uh, you know by a third they're just that's crazy like how do you sustain a society where corporations just don't give a like they have no incentive to look past their quarterly profit. And this is just, this is libtard Matt coming out here. That's just, they, they need to fix that. Like we have to fix that as a society. You can't let people just run the entire economy into the ground because they are only worried about their, you know, quarter to quarter lifestyle. It's just, that's nuts, man. I, the comments on this one would be very interesting. All right, mozzarella sticks. You know, at least it's long though. I will say that it's just weird. Like why? I know it's a stick, but like I expect a little more oomph, especially from a mozzarella stick. But that wasn't just a rant on this. That was a rant on in general, man. Everything seems to be shrinking, which which is why, I, again, I'm gonna say rallies. Rallies is really good. They don't shrink their down and they are really valuable. So, you know, value-wise, you should check them out. Hey, but back to this. Boom. Um, are you guys a fan of mozzarella sticks? Also, apparently in our chat over on uh, Twitch and YouTube, but it was in the Twitch chat, uh, I think it was Kaylee, one of our, uh, you know, people in there, said she dips, and apologies if it was somebody else, but she said she dips her mozzarella sticks in nacho cheese. Would you do that? Or have you done that? And if you have, what are you, what is your reaction to that? I, I never thought to do that, but I bet it's good. It's cheese on cheese action. It's cheeseception, cheese violence. <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. I mean, so the mozzarella stick itself, it's just a mozzarella stick. Nothing special about it at all. This sauce they gave me though, damn. The sauce is really flavorful. I mean, you know, it is cheap, but that the sauce is what stands out, which is surprising. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the sauce is the highlight for sure. That's actually kind of crazy. You know, mozzarella sticks are already flavorful in their own way, but man, this is so good. Mmm. Mm. I can't remember the last time I had a mozzarella stick. It was like probably like six, seven years ago. I'm sure maybe something on the channel, but I don't recall. Without the sauce, I would rate that probably a three. With the sauce, <laughs> solid four. I mean, it was really good. It was under $3 for four of them, you know, progressed to an eight and a 12, but I don't need that because I'm going to go for a hike right now and I don't need to get f***ed up <laughs> by having a cramp while I'm like on mid incline. Um, yeah, not too bad. All right. Let's try the birthday cake pie. Yeah, but done their pies in the past, dude. If you go and look through the channel, I used to do them all the time, like because they used to release a new pie like all the time. Um, I remember the Reese's one was really good. The Hershey's one was really good. They still have the Hershey's one, um, but they would just release like random pies all the time. Burger King used to be really good about limited time stuff, and then they like fell off for a while. But it looks like they're back, baby. They're back. Yo, I always love the aesthetic of their boxes. 
looks fantastic. It looks like there's, so there's cake pieces on top of it. I don't think that's cookie dough. Let's read the description real quick, just to make sure. Creamy birthday cake flavored pie filling in a cookie crumb crust topped with rainbow color sprinkles, cake bites, and whipped topping. Okay, that makes sense. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm not a big birthday cake guy. Another question for you. Uh, do you guys like birthday cake? Do you like cake in general? Like for me, said it for years, if it's ice cream cake, I'm on board, but I just don't like cake all that much. I just always thought it's like a texture thing for me. It just seems kind of like pointless. Okay, a little hard to get everything out of there, but I got it. Here we go. Birthday cake flavor in general. Cause like all it is, it's just a like frosting experience. It's just pure sugar. Frosting to me is not like all that great. It's not horrible either. Like whatever, if it's offered to me, I'll usually have it. Oh, that's not true though, because at birthday parties or, you know, family get togethers, because classically we would do ice cream or birthday cake. I would just eat the ice cream. I'd be like, mm, ice cream's so much better. It just, it has so much more depth. Cake to me is just like, mm. There's certain cakes that definitely get away with being awesome, uh, but most of them, like 95% of them, I just feel like are meh. But this is a pie, not a cake. It was more of a rant. It's, I mean, it's exactly what it says it is. It is a pie that is flavored like a birthday cake. It's got great texture, love that, um, but there's not much else going on other than that. Um, I'll rate this a three, it's fine. Now I'm gonna do something that's gonna make me a monster, and this guy literally just pulled up next to me. Watch this, this is for you. The mozzarella sauce. Oh God, <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh, that's weird, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I knew it. I just figured it'd be fun to try it. Hey, listen, I, I, I want to give you guys a challenge, okay? Val instilled this upon me, but I was always kind of this way since I started the show, at least. As a kid, I was super picky. That was the entire point of doing the show, was to open up my, you know, palate to other stuff, even if I don't like it. But Val said it best. He had a rule with his kids growing up. He told them, hey, try this. And if they said no, he would say, well, you should try it once because even if you don't like it, you never know if you will or if it'll be worth the experience. Like basically try it once. If you don't like it, never try it again, but don't turn something down without knowing for like, you have to know. And if you know, then great. I instill that upon you. You guys should 100% try everything once, you know, every food experience that you can, as long as it's safe, of course, try it. You never know. There's so many things on the channel, like mushrooms. I hated mushrooms growing up, hated them. Like what, what is an item that maybe you hated that you didn't give that much of an effort to or try that much, and then you liked it a lot? Uh, yeah, mushrooms was one. Peppers, I love peppers, like banana peppers in particular, I really like on pizza now. Didn't like them before, you know, but it's not that I didn't like them, I just didn't really pay attention to them. Um, that and um, aloe, aloe vera, the, the drink, or al aloe, aloe drink, aloe vera drink? Uh, aloe vera drink. A big, you know, big fan of that now too, like things that I, some things I just wouldn't even try before. Now the show opened me up to a lot of things like that, so yeah, give them a shot, you know, you never know. Expand your horizons, we only have so much time on this earth. Either way, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, the, the reviews. If there's any fast food stuff out right now that you'd like to see me go do, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on that a lot going forward. You know, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks, guys. Enjoy this Twitch clip, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>